Greetings, this is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil, praying and hoping that God is blessing you this day from origamislivingsoil.com. Um, I'd like to just follow up on this experiment. And um, what I did is I cooked some brown rice, and as I did in an earlier video, notice that brown rice, unlike white rice, doesn't grow as much mycocillin as um, white rice does. And um, so that that's just showing me that brown rice grows bacteria better than it does fungi, and fungi grows better on white rice than it does brown rice and so I just wanted to point out that um, that difference and then so I said well let's go ahead and put some mycorrhizal on top of the brown rice to try to you know um, enhance uh, the fungi growth and so what do we got here is part two of that experiment and as you can see we do have mycocillin growth, and that's from the VAM mycorrhizal, the uh, vesicular, abuscular uh, mycorrhizal that I sprinkled on top. And, um, and so we do have mycorrhizal growth, and uh, quite a bit of it. So I'm just going to do some close-ups here. We're nice and furry. And as you notice, we got some little red spots there. That's some bacteria growing. And a little bit of green going on there. Green and red. And so uh, brown rice did prove true, still growing well when it comes to bacteria. But by, by sprinkling the mycorrhizal on top, I end up getting some mycocillin growth too. So uh, basically what I would do with this now is mix it with brown sugar and I'm going to have a, a, a nice mixture of bacteria and fungi to, uh, I am like an IMO2 um, source and so I can make teas with this and then take those teas and apply it to soil or make a real strong one and mix it with wheat bran and um, then I'll have me some uh, IMO3 except uh, not as heavy a uh, mycocillin growth so if you use white rice oop sorry about that if you use white rice um, you're gonna have to expect you're gonna have a more mycocillin growth than you will um, bacteria and if you want a nice even amount uh, I would uh, take brown rice and mix uh, put on top of it some mycorrhizal sprinkle some on top of there and as you can see I have a nice even a mix of bacteria and fungi uh, beneficial both of them and like I said I mix that with brown sugar make an IMO2 I guess you can say and um, and then use it at your uh, discre you know discretion uh, be it in teas or whatever so this is Earth Man from Origami's Living Soil just following up on the experiment I just uh, hope this stuff uh, is helping you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would advise you to. I'm going to be doing some more experiments. Uh, next experiment I think I'm going to do is cook some brown rice and white rice and put them into my IMO chamber and just to show you the difference of the mycocillin growth between the white and the brown. Uh, you can refer to my earlier videos to see the difference. Um, but if you don't want to, um, that's fine. But if you like this video, please push like. If you have any comments, please leave them. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Just to let me know that, um, that there's people out there that are interested in this type of stuff, living soil. Because that's what I'm about here at Origami's Living Soil, is giving your soil life. And uh, that, my, my friend... My friends, is the key to healthy soil and a healthy plant is living soil. So may God bless you this day. And uh, I just hope uh, your holidays, your Christmas holiday goes well. Merry Christmas.